And the truth is, there's not just one answer to ending gun violence. There are a lot of answers. And one of the ways to find those answers, Mayor Craig Greenberg says, is by asking the public for input, which is what the Crescent Hill Community Council did in July of 2023. The competition was simple. Submit your idea on how to curb gun violence in Louisville. On Tuesday, two winners were announced. Lisa Austin, one of the winners, plans to create an art piece to honor those from our community who have been killed by gun violence. This is I will write or stamp each person's name on the banner with a number next to it. And then there'll be a book next to the, the banner that is um, has the story of the person or have the number that corresponds to the number on the banner. Michael Reed's solution was more abstract. He says he wants to start a campaign for kindness asking the public to commit to being kind to one another. And, you know, you may start off with one or two people, but, you know, if it's 100 people or 1,000 people or 50,000 people decide to make that commitment, it's, it can change our community. It can the Crescent Hill Community Council hopes to use Reed's idea for an ad campaign. Both Reed and Austin got a cash prize of $3,500, which will be used to bring their ideas to life. I think they're, they're great ideas, and I just hope we're able to be able to implement them. Rose Smith is a community advocate for curbing gun violence. She started the ACE organization, named after her son, Corey, who was killed in an act of gun violence in 2014. So it does make me feel hopeful. I is this going to end gun violence? Absolutely not. But we're starting somewhere, so it's at least a starting point. Now that the competition's winners have been announced, an implementation committee is being formed to put the winners' ideas into action. From Metro Hall, I'm Addie Miners, WLKY News. And the